Welcome back to Z Coins. We're diving into the fascinating story of the 1978 Nomad Mark quarter dollar, which has recently made headlines for being worth a staggering dollar 1.8 million. That's right, a simple quarter from 1978, originally worth just 25 cents, has skyrocketed in value, and I'm going to explain exactly why. So, how did this coin go from pocket change to a multi-million dollar treasure? Stick around as we explore its history, what makes it so valuable, and how you could possibly find one in your own collection. Let's start by taking a step back to the late 1970s. In 1978, the United States Mint was in full operation, producing millions of coins annually. At that time, quarters were minted in three main locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Normally, Coins minted in Denver have a D mint mark, those from San Francisco have an S, and quarters from Philadelphia typically have no mint mark at all. Here's the kicker. While most people assume that a 1978 quarter without a mint mark is just your typical Philadelphia minted coin, there's more to this story than meets the eye. The 1978 no mint mark quarter that's making waves today isn't just any Philadelphia quarter. There's a very specific error, or anomaly, with this coin, which makes it stand out from the millions of other quarters minted in 1978. What exactly makes this quarter different? After all, Philadelphia quarters don't have a mint mark. So why is this one so valuable? Here's where the mystery lies. The particular 1978 no mint mark quarter we're talking about was struck with an error during the minting process. In coin collecting, errors are often seen as flaws, but they can make certain coins far more valuable. Errors in the minting process are incredibly rare, especially ones that go unnoticed for decades. The 1978 no mint mark quarter we're discussing today has a unique error that caused a missing detail in the design. This is what sets it apart. Many believe that the missing details could be related to an improperly prepared die or a significant flaw in the metal composition. These kinds of errors are typically caught by the U.S. Mint's quality control, but in this case, a few of these flawed coins managed to slip through the cracks. Now, let's get to the part you've all been waiting for. How did this quarter get valued at $1.8 million? This is likely the only known example of a 1978 quarter with this specific error. When it comes to coin collecting, rarity is the number one driver of value. The rarer the coin, the higher the price it can fetch at auction. In this case, the 1978 no mint mark quarter is a once in a lifetime find, making it a collector's dream. The condition of the coin is absolutely pristine. When coins are in mint state or uncirculated condition, their value skyrockets. This quarter has been graded by professionals, and it is believed to be in near perfect condition, further adding to its worth. There's currently a huge demand for error coins among collectors. The more people want a coin, the higher the price will climb. And with only one known specimen of the 1978 no mint mark quarter, collectors are willing to pay top dollar to own a piece of history. In 2023, this rare quarter made headlines when it was put up for auction and fetched a mind-boggling dollar 1.8 million. This makes it one of the most expensive quarters ever sold in the history of U.S. coin collecting. First, look for quarters minted in 1978 without any mint mark. This suggests that it was likely minted in Philadelphia. But the no mint mark alone isn't enough to make it worth millions you'll want to carefully examine the coin for any unusual design features, such as missing or weak details, especially around the edges or central design. These flaws might be subtle, but if you spot something unusual, it could be a sign that you have an error coin. It's also important to check the coin's condition. Even if you have a rare quarter, its value depends heavily on whether it's in good shape. Coins with less wear and tear are more valuable, so it's always a good idea to handle your coins with care. Dot if you think you have a valuable error coin, consider getting it professionally graded by an organization like PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, 
or NGC, Numismatic Guarantee Corporation. These services will examine your coin in detail and assign it a grade, which can dramatically affect its market value. So, let's say you've discovered that you own a rare 1978 No Mint Mark quarter. What's next? The first thing you'll want to do is ensure the coin stays in pristine condition. Handle it with gloves, avoid touching the surface, and store it in a protective case or sleeve to prevent any damage or exposure to air. As mentioned earlier, professional grading is essential for rare coins. A high grade can add thousands or even millions of dollars to a coin's value. Before selling, check recent auction sales or talk to a coin expert to get a sense of the coin's current market value. As of now, the 1978 Nomad Mark quarter has reached $1.8 million, but who knows how much higher it could go. To maximize your profit, consider selling the coin through a reputable auction house or online through a trusted platform for rare coins. Sites like Heritage Auctions or Stax Bowers Galleries are great options for rare coin sales. Who would have thought that a quarter could be worth $1.8 million? The 1978 No Mint Mark quarter is a testament to the incredible world of coin collecting, where history, rarity, and errors can create massive value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just someone who enjoys a good mystery, this coin is one to watch. So, the next time you come across some spare change, take a closer look. You might just be holding a million dollar treasure. If you enjoyed this video, and want to learn more about rare coins and the fascinating stories behind them, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and happy hunting! Don't forget to drop a comment below if you've found any interesting coins recently. And who knows, maybe one of you has a rare coin just waiting to be discovered. See you next time! We're diving deep into a true mystery of American numismatics, the 1982 D Mint Mark quarter dollar coin. Did you know that some of these coins are worth thousands, and one even hit the staggering market value of $1.7 million? That's right, a simple quarter in your pocket could be a rare treasure waiting to be discovered. To understand why the 1982 D quarter could be worth so much, we need to start with a little bit of history. The 1982 Washington Quarter, like many U.S. coins, was struck at two major mint facilities, Philadelphia and Denver. You can tell the difference by the mint mark. For the Denver Mint, you'll see a small D just below Washington's bust on the coin's reverse. Now, something special happened during this time. 1982 was a transition year for U.S. coinage. It was the first year that the U.S. Mint stopped producing coins for collectors in proof or uncirculated sets, mainly because they were trying to cut costs. This decision created a gap in the coin collecting world, making any 1982 coins in pristine condition much more desirable today. And the 1982 D quarter? Well, it became a legend. You might be wondering, with hundreds of millions of these quarters minted, how could any of them be worth thousands, let alone $1.7 million? The key here isn't in the quantity minted, but in the condition of the coin. Most coins from 1982 were used in circulation. Finding a quarter from this year in perfect, uncirculated condition, especially with a clean, bold D mint mark, is like finding a needle in a haystack. And that's where things get interesting. Collectors are obsessed with finding coins that have stayed in near mint condition for over 40 years. Coins that look like they just left the mint without scratches, dings, or discoloration. These high quality quarters, graded as MS67 or higher, can fetch thousands of dollars at auction. In 2022, the numismatic world was shocked when a 1982 D. Washington quarter was sold for an eye-popping $1.7 million. So what made this particular coin so special? The quarter in question was certified as an MS68 by PCGS, one of the top coin grading agencies. MS68 means 
that the coin was in nearly perfect condition, just two grades shy of absolute perfection. With such a high grade and the rarity of 1982 D quarters in this condition, this coin attracted serious attention from collectors and investors alike. The coin's pristine condition, combined with its historical significance as a 1982 D quarter, made it one of the most sought after coins in modern numismatics. Now, let's get to the part you've all been waiting for. How do you know if the 1982 D quarter you have is worth thousands or even millions? Here's what to look for. First, check the mint mark. Make sure your quarter has a D mint mark just below Washington's bust. This shows that it was struck at the Denver Mint in 1982. Next, you'll need to check the coins condition. Coins in circulated condition, that is, coins that have been used in day-to-day -day transactions, will show wear and tear, reducing their value. Look for coins that have sharp details, clean surfaces, and no major scratches or marks. If your coin looks like it just rolled out of the mint, it could be worth sending in for grading. Top grading agencies like PCGS or NGC will give your coin an official grade, and that's where the real value comes in. Coins graded MS67 or MS68 are incredibly valuable. Even if you have a lower grade coin, you could still fetch hundreds or even thousands of dollars, depending on the condition. So, what's the current market value of a 1982 D mint mark quarter? Well, the market for rare coins is always fluctuating, but high grade coins, especially in MS67 or higher, can easily sell for thousands of dollars. Some recent auction prices for MS67 coins have been in the range of $1,000 to $5,000. But remember, that one special MS68 coin sold for a mind-blowing $1.7 million. Even if your coin isn't in perfect condition, it could still be valuable. A slightly worn but still high-quality 1982 D quarter could be worth hundreds. The key is condition, rarity, and demand from collectors. So you've checked your 1982 D quarter and think it's worth something. Now what? You've got a few options. You can sell your coin online through platforms like eBay, or you can visit a reputable coin dealer who specializes in rare coins. If you have a high-grade coin, it's worth getting it graded by Peace GS or NGC, as that can significantly boost its value. Once graded, your coin could be auctioned through professional auction houses that deal with numismatics, like Heritage Auctions or Stax Bowers. Remember, it's important to do your research, especially when selling valuable coins. Some online platforms can expose you to a wide audience of buyers, but make sure you're dealing with trustworthy sources. So, there you have it, the story behind the 1982 D Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin, a piece of American history that could be worth a fortune. Whether you're a seasoned coin collector or just starting out, it's always exciting to think that hidden treasures might be lurking in your change jar. Who knows, you might be holding on to a million dollar coin right now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting coin collecting content. And if you think you might have a rare coin, drop a comment below. Let's talk treasure hunting. See you in the next one where we dive deep into the world of coin collecting and numismatics. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell, so you don't miss out on any of our future coin discoveries and values. Today, we're going to talk about a quarter that's turning heads in the collector community, none other than the 1987 D Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin. Eli if it or not, one of these coins was recently valued at an astonishing $1.6 million. That's right. A quarter, worth just 25 cents when it was made, could now be worth more than a luxury sports car or a house. So what makes this particular coin so special? What gives it such immense value? Let's dive into its history, its significance, and the factors that make it worth such a mind-blowing amount. 
the 1987 D Mint Mark Quarter Dollar was struck at the Denver Mint. As you probably know, the D Mint Mark signifies that a coin was minted in Denver, Colorado. The U.S. Mint had been producing Washington quarters since 1932, and by the 1980s, these quarters were mainly produced for circulation. However, during the mid-1980s, the U.S. Mint was focusing on improving the quality of the coins they produced. This was part of a broader effort to refine their techniques and adjust the appearance of their coins. The 1987 D. Washington Quarter, in particular, was no exception. But what sets it apart? Why does this specific coin have a potential worth of $1.6 million today? To understand that, we need to look at the different factors that come into play when determining the value of a coin, such as its minting, errors, condition, and of course, rarity. First things first, let's talk about mint marks and mint errors. Coins struck with errors can skyrocket in value, depending on the type of mistake made during production. With the 1987 D quarter, collectors are particularly interested in error coins that were produced in low quantities, making them extremely rare. Point one such error involves coins that were struck with a double die, a rare occurrence where the coin's design is imprinted twice. These double die quarters are highly sought after by collectors. Another error could be a misaligned die or even a rare planchet error which is when a coin is struck on a blank piece of metal that wasn't intended for quarters. Imagine finding one of these errors on a coin that was only supposed to be worth 25 cents. It's like striking gold. And in the world of numismatics, such errors can add thousands, if not millions, to a coin's value. So why is the 1987 D Mint Mark Quarter being valued so high? It all comes down to a combination of factors an exceptionally rare mint error, its mint condition, and, of course, the demand from collectors willing to pay a premium for such a coin. Now, the million-dollar question, literally, is why one of these 1987 D quarters was valued at $1.6 million. To understand that, we have to look at the world of rare coin auctions. Coins with rare errors or exceptional historical significance often fetch astronomical prices at auctions, especially when they're in near-perfect condition or have an intriguing backstory. The quarter that sold for $1.6 million wasn't just any ordinary 1987 D quarter. It was a mint state 68 quarter, meaning it was in almost flawless condition according to the Sheldon Coin Grading Scale. Coins with higher grades particularly in MS-68 or above, are incredibly rare. The higher the grade, the closer to perfection the coin is, which makes it highly desirable among collectors. When a coin reaches MS-68, it's considered to be in nearly perfect condition, with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. And in the case of the 1987 D quarter, it's this combination of extreme rarity, near-perfect condition, and a significant historical context that pushed its value over the top. Another key factor in the value of rare coins is market demand. There are always collectors willing to pay a premium for coins that complete their collections or coins that are considered a once-in-a-lifetime find. The higher the demand for a specific coin, the more its value skyrockets. I in recent years, the demand for error coins and coins from the 1980s in particular, has been on the rise. Collectors are especially interested in coins with mint errors from this period because fewer of them were produced, and many people don't realize they might be sitting on a valuable piece of history. Think about it. How many times have you handled pocket change without thinking twice? There could be a hidden gem like the 1987 D quarter right in your own collection. All right, so you're probably wondering, do I have one of these rare 1987 D quarters in my collection? Here's what you need to do to check. This is located just below the wreath on the back of the quarter, next to the Eagle Point 2. Check for errors asterisk use a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop to inspect the coin for potential minting errors, like double dies or off-center strikes point 3. 
Condition matters asterisk even if you have an error coin, the condition will greatly affect its value. You'll want to have it graded by a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC to determine its official grade point for. Auction or sell asterisk if you think you have a rare and valuable quarter, consider reaching out to auction houses or listing it with a coin dealer to get it appraised. Who knows? You could be sitting on a small fortune. So, where does the market stand today for 1987D quarters? Well, while a perfect MS68 example sold for $1.6 million, most 1987D quarters will be worth much less unless they have similar characteristics. As of now, Lower graded examples of the 1987D quarter could sell for anywhere between $10 to $100, depending on their condition. Error coins in higher grades could fetch anywhere from $500 to several thousand dollars. However, with the rising interest in rare U.S. coinage, it's possible we'll see more record breaking sales in the near future. And with the market always changing, who knows? Maybe your quarter could be the next million dollar find. And that wraps up today's deep dive into the world of the 1987 D Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments if you've checked your quarters recently. Could you be sitting on a fortune? If you want more videos on coin collecting, rare finds, and market updates, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the community. We're diving deep into the story behind a seemingly ordinary coin that has shocked the numismatic world, the 1990p Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin. You might be wondering, how could a simple 25 cent piece be worth up to $1.5 million? Well, buckle up, because we're going to explore its rich history, why it's so valuable, and what makes this particular coin one of the rarest quarters in existence. If you're a coin collector or simply curious about hidden treasures, stick around to learn everything you need to know. Before we dive into why this coin is worth so much, let's take a step back and understand its origins. The 1990p Mint Mark Quarter was part of the standard issue for circulation, produced by the United States Mint. It features the familiar image of George Washington on the obverse, the same design, that has graced quarters since 1932, commemorating the 200th anniversary of Washington's birth. The P mint mark indicates that the coin was produced at the Philadelphia Mint, which was one of the main locations for minting U.S. coins during this period. In 1990, tens of millions of quarters were struck, so at first glance, there's nothing out of the ordinary about this coin. In fact, most of the 1990p quarters are just like any other quarter from the era, circulated freely, and hold little value beyond their face value. However, the key to understanding this coin's astronomical value lies in a rare error that has fascinated collectors for decades. Here's where the story takes a dramatic turn. A small number of these 1990p quarters were minted with a highly rare and significant error. Error coins, in general, are mistakes made during the minting process. While errors like misprints, double strikes, or off-center coins can make certain coins valuable, the 1990p quarter error is different. The most famous error for this year is known as the Missing Clad Layer or Planchet Error. U.S. quarters are supposed to be struck with a copper core sandwich between two layers of copper nickel alloy. This creates the shiny appearance and durability that we associate with modern quarters. However, in some rare cases, quarters are struck without this outer layer, leaving the copper core exposed. For the 1990p quarter, a few were struck with a missing outer clad layer, giving them a distinct copper appearance. This made them incredibly rare and highly sought after by collectors. In the world of numismatics, rarity equals value, and this error has cemented the 1990p quarter as one of the most valuable coins in circulation today. So, how did a 25 cent coin end up being worth $1.5 million? To answer that, we need to look at a few factors that drive up the value of rare coins, like the 1990p quarter. 
The primary reason behind the skyrocketing value of this coin is its rarity. Only a small number of these error coins were ever produced, and even fewer have been found. Error coins like this are usually pulled out of circulation quickly, either by collectors or people who notice the anomaly and hold on to them. As the years have passed, these coins have become even rarer as fewer examples remain in circulation. Another important factor that affects the value of this coin is its condition. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect, uncirculated coin. The 1990p quarters that have surfaced in high grades, especially those that are uncirculated, have fetched astronomical prices at auctions. Some have even sold for well over a million dollars. In fact, one of these rare quarters sold for a record $1.5 million at auction, largely due to its immaculate condition and the uniqueness of the error. Coins like this are highly coveted by collectors. Coin enthusiasts and investors are always looking for unique and rare pieces to add to their collections, and error coins are particularly exciting because they represent a mistake that wasn't meant to happen. The 1990p error quarter is not only rare, but also has a fascinating backstory that adds to its allure. The demand for this coin has only grown over time, further driving up its value. Now that we know why this coin is so valuable, let's talk about how you can identify one. Here's what to look for if you think you might have a 1990p quarter worth millions. First, ensure that the coin has the P mint mark, which indicates it was minted in Philadelphia. The mint mark can be found just above the date on the obverse side, right under Washington's neck. The most crucial aspect to look for is the missing outer clad layer. If the quarter appears to have a copperish color rather than the usual shiny silver, this could be a major sign that you have a rare error coin. The exposed copper core is a telltale sign of the missing clad layer. While the missing clad layer is the main error, also inspect the coin for other irregularities like weak or blurry details, which could suggest an error in the striking process. Have the coin professionally graded asterisk asterisk if you think you've found a 1990p error quarter. It's essential to have it evaluated by a professional coin grading service like PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, or NGC, Numismatic Guarantee Corporation. These organizations can give your coin an official grade, which will dramatically affect its value. As of today, the highest recorded sale for a 1990p era quarter was a whopping $1.5 million. However, even if your coin isn't in perfect condition, it can still be worth a substantial amount. Coins in lower grades have sold for tens of thousands of dollars and even those in average condition could fetch a high price depending on the level of the error and demand at the time of sale. Dot, if you think you have one of these rare coins, the best course of action is to consult with a reputable dealer or auction house to determine its true market value. While it's incredibly unlikely that you'll stumble upon one of these coins in your spare change, it's not impossible. Some people have found valuable error coins in coin rolls from banks. So if you're interested in coin hunting, this could be a fun way to potentially find treasure. Additionally, you can check with local coin shops or browse auction sites like eBay, Heritage Auctions, or Stax Bowers, where rare coins are frequently bought and sold. Just remember, if you're purchasing a coin, make sure it's certified by a trusted grading service to ensure you're getting what you pay for. The story of the 1990p Mint Mark Quarter is a perfect example of how even the most ordinary items can turn into extraordinary treasures. From a 25 cent coin to a multi-million dollar collector's item, this coin's journey is a fascinating chapter in the world of numismatics. If you're a collector, you'll definitely want to keep an eye out for one of these rare gems. And who knows, maybe you could be holding onto a $1.5 million coin without even knowing it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more fascinating content on rare coins, collectibles, and hidden treasures. Let us know in the comments if you've ever found a rare coin or what you'd like to see in our next video. Happy coin hunting!
Thanks for tuning in to today's video. Remember, coins tell the story of history, and sometimes that history is worth more than you'd ever expect. Don't forget to check your change. You might just strike gold. See you next time. We're diving deep into a coin that you might just have lying around in your pocket change. The 1993 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin. This coin may look ordinary, but there's one in particular that's recently been valued at a jaw-dropping $1.3 million. How did this happen? What makes this coin so rare? And could you be holding onto one of these treasures? Asterisk stick around, because in this video, we'll break down the history, unique features, and current market value of the 1993 P quarter that's taken the coin collecting world by storm. Asterisk let's start with a little background. The 1993 P Mint Mark Quarter was part of the Washington Quarter series that's been in circulation since 1932. By 1993, the U.S. Mint was producing millions of these quarters at the Philadelphia Mint, which is identified by the P Mint Mark right here on the front. Asterisk now, most 1993 P quarters are extremely common. In fact, over 800 million of these coins were minted that year. But what makes coin collecting exciting is that sometimes, out of those millions, there's an exception, a one in a million coin with an error or a unique characteristic that makes it incredibly valuable. Asterisk this particular 1993 P quarter is part of a category of coins known as error coins. Error coins are produced when something goes wrong during the minting process. In this case, the million dollar coin was struck on the wrong planchet. That's the blank metal disc used to create the coin. Instead of being struck on a quarter planchet, this error coin was accidentally struck on a much more valuable planchet, likely meant for a different denomination or material. Asterisk this kind of mistake is incredibly rare and highly sought after by collectors. Error coins, especially ones like this, are valuable because they are anomalies and they are extremely difficult to find. In fact, there's likely only one of this exact error coin known to exist, which is why it has reached such a staggering value. Asterisk first, this coin is a certified mint error, and that's the key. Collectors love mint errors because they're incredibly rare and tell an interesting story about how coins are made. But not all mint errors are worth this much. What sets this particular quarter apart is the fact that it's a major error. Being struck on the wrong planchet makes it a once-in-a-lifetime discovery. Asterisk additionally, over the past few years, the coin market has seen a surge in interest, especially for unique and rare pieces like this. Coin collectors are willing to pay huge sums of money for items that stand out, and as of 2023, the coin was reportedly valued at $1.3 million in the collector's market. Asterisk OK, here's the big question. Could you have a valuable 1993 P quarter sitting in your change jar right now? Asterisk Well, it's unlikely you'll stumble across a million dollar coin. But it's always worth checking. When you're examining a 1993 P quarter, there are a few things to look for. Asterisk Make sure it's a P which stands for the Philadelphia Mint Point 2. Inspect the coin's condition. While circulation where is normal, look for any unusual characteristics, such as doubling or striking errors Point 3. Look for planchet errors. This is the tricky part. You may need professional tools to detect if the quarter was struck on the wrong planchet, but some signs include unusual weight or different coloration dot if you think you've got something special. It's always a good idea to have your coin professionally graded and authenticated by an expert. Services like PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, or NGC, Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, can give you an official certification and let you know if you're holding on to something incredibly valuable. Asterisk let's talk about the current market for 1993 P quarters, both error coins and regular ones. Asterisk foremost 1993 P Washington quarters in average circulated condition. Their value remains just 25 cents. However, if you have a 1993 P quarter in mint condition, meaning it has no signs of wear and has been well preserved, 
it could be worth a few dollars, usually ranging from $1 to $1.10 for higher grades. Asterisk, but if you happen to discover a 1993 peak quarter with a serious minting error, like the $1.3 million coin we've been talking about, its value could shoot through the roof. Coin collectors and numismatists are always on the lookout for these rare finds, and as we've seen, the right error coin could set you up for a life-changing payday. Asterisk so, there you have it. The 1993 P Mint Mark Quarter, a coin that most people overlook, but with the potential to be worth millions under the right circumstances. It's amazing to think that a simple mistake at the Mint could lead to such a huge payout decades later. Asterisk remember, always take a close look at your coins, and if you think you've found something special, don't hesitate to get it checked out by an expert. Who knows? You might be sitting on a million dollar treasure and not even know it. Asterisk thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more awesome coin collecting content. Drop a comment below if you've ever come across a rare coin or if you want us to cover any other coins in future videos. Asterisk. We're diving into the fascinating history, the incredible value, and the story behind one of the rarest coins ever, the 2001 D quarter dollar with the 1792 mint mark, where we explore the world of rare and valuable collectibles. If you're a coin enthusiast, this one's going to blow your mind. If you've ever wondered how a simple quarter could be worth a fortune, Stick around as we break down everything you need to know about this 2001 D quarter that carries a jaw-dropping price tag of $1.5 million. Before we dive into its astronomical value, let's start with a bit of history. The U.S. Mint was established in 1792, and coins from the early years of the United States are some of the most sought after by collectors today. But wait! How does 1792 connect to a coin from 2001? This coin is part of the State Quarters Program, a highly successful initiative that began in 1999 to celebrate each of the 50 U.S. states. The D on the quarter signifies it was minted in Denver, but the shocking part is the mint mark, 1792. That's not supposed to be there. This is an anomaly. Normally, the quarters from this series don't carry mint marks that date back to 1792. This mint mark error has created what is essentially one of the most unique and rarest coins in modern history. The 1792 mint mark was never meant to appear on a 2001 coin, but due to a likely die error or intentional experiment, it did. So what does this all mean? Well, Errors like this can skyrocket a coin's value in the collector's market. The rarity factor plays a massive role here. Because of the mistaken mint mark, it's believed that only a few of these coins exist today. And if you're the lucky owner of one of these, well, you might just be sitting on a small fortune. When determining the value of a coin, collectors consider several factors. These include Coins from important years in U.S. history are always more valuable. Coins in mint or near mint condition fetch the highest prices. The fewer examples that exist, the more sought after the coin becomes. In this case, the 2001 D with the 1792 mint mark is exceptionally rare. Since its discovery, this quarter has steadily climbed in value. It first appeared in auctions a few years after it was minted, but it wasn't until recent years that its value exploded. Collectors and auction houses have pushed its price higher and higher, and as of today, one of these coins has been estimated to be worth an astonishing $1.5 million. Just think about that. A quarter, something you can easily overlook, could be worth more than a house, a luxury car, even more than most people make in a lifetime. That's the power of a mint error combined with historical significance. The coin market can be unpredictable, and prices fluctuate based on demand. However, as of today, one of these ultra-rare 2001 D quarters with the 1792 mint mark is valued at an incredible $1.5 million. 
coin collectors and investors around the world are scrambling to get their hands on one. Imagine seeing this coin at an auction, the bidding wars would be fierce. So, if you're a coin collector or even if you're just curious about finding valuable coins, here are a few tips. Errors and mint marks can increase the value of a coin exponentially. Coins that are well preserved are worth significantly more than worn or damaged ones. Before you make any assumptions about a coin's value, get it professionally appraised. The coin market is constantly evolving, so keep an eye on auctions and collector forums. Now, picture this. You're going through an old coin collection or maybe even getting change from the store, and you spot something unusual. You take a closer look, and boom, it's the 2001 D quarter with the 1792 mint mark. You could be sitting on $1.5 million. This coin is an absolute treasure, and it's a reminder that sometimes the smallest, most ordinary things can turn out to be worth a fortune. So next time you're handling your spare change, take a closer look. You never know what you might find. Have you ever come across a rare or valuable coin? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to your channel name, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more incredible stories of valuable treasures hidden in plain sight. See you next time, where we dive deep into the world of coins, treasures, and hidden gems you might have sitting right in your pocket. Today, we're talking about a coin that could change your life. Yes, you heard me right the 2016 D Mint Mark Quarter Dollar Coin, and why one of these coins was recently valued at an astonishing $1.9 million. Let's start with the basics. What is the 2016 D Mint Mark Quarter? This coin is part of the America, the Beautiful Quarter series, which started in 2010 and ran through 2021. Each year, five national parks or historic sites were honored on these coins. The D Mint mark indicates that this specific coin was minted at the Denver Mint, one of the U.S. Mint's major facilities. The 2016 D Quarter belongs to this illustrious series and features sites like the Cumberland Gap and Harper's Ferry. But here's the million dollar question why is one of these quarters worth $1.9 million? To understand the value of the 2016 D Mint mark quarter, Let's dive a bit into its history. In 2016, the U.S. Mint struck millions of quarters featuring five different designs, including national parks like the Shawnee National Forest in Illinois and the Theodore Roosevelt National Park in North Dakota. The quarters were made from a standard composition of copper and nickel, with some proof additions in silver. Now, even though millions of these quarters were minted, not all of them are created equal. Coins can become valuable based on rarity, minting errors, and the condition they've been preserved in. The most sought-after coins in this series are those in perfect condition or ones that have a significant minting error. Okay, so here's where it gets interesting. In 2023, collectors were buzzing about a specific 2016 D-Mint Mark Quarter that was valued at a jaw-dropping $1.9 million. But what makes this particular coin so special? First off, this coin is in mint state condition, which means it's essentially flawless, no scratches, nowhere. Coins that are graded by professional services, such as Peace GS or NGC, and receive the highest grade of MS70 can command a massive premium in the collector market. However, this particular quarter is even more unique due to a super rare minting error that has made it one of a kind. Minting errors can significantly increase the value of a coin. These errors occur when something goes wrong during the production process, like a die misalignment, double strikes, or off-center imprints. Collectors love these kinds of coins because they're rare, and each one is unique. The 2016 D Mint Mark Quarter we're talking about had a double die error, where part of the design was struck twice, creating a fascinating and highly coveted mistake. When it comes to mint errors, rarity is key. This particular 2016 quarter had such a rare error 
that only one has been found in this condition, making it incredibly valuable. But how did this quarter give value to $1.9 million? It all started with a collector who noticed something unusual about the coin. They sent it in for grading, and when the error was confirmed, word spread throughout the coin collecting community. Eventually, the coin was put up for auction and sold for this mind-blowing sum. To put it into perspective, most quarters are worth just 25 cents, but this one, $1.9 million. It's also important to note that as with any collectible, market conditions, demand, and interest from high-end collectors all play a role in these insane prices. In this case, the combination of perfect condition, a rare error, and the hike from collectors led to this record-breaking sale. Now, you might be wondering, do I have one of these valuable quarters in my pocket? Well, it's possible. Start by checking the mint mark. If it's a 2016 quarter with a D mark from Denver, that's your first clue. Next, closely inspect the coin for any signs of a minting error, like a doubled image or any unusual marks. Then, consider the condition of your coin. Even without an error, a quarter in mint state condition can still be worth far more than its face value. If you think you've struck gold, send it to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC to get an official grade. Who knows? You might be sitting on a small fortune. So what are regular 2016 D mint mark quarters worth today? Most are still only worth their face value, 25 cents. But if your coin is in exceptional condition, it could be worth anywhere from $5 to $25 to collectors. On the other hand, coins with rare errors or in perfect MS70 condition can be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. But remember, the $1.9 million coin was a perfect storm of rarity, error, and demand. So while it's incredibly rare, it's not impossible that you could find a valuable 2016 D quarter yourself. So there you have it. The 2016 D mint mark quarter may look like any other quarter in circulation, but in rare cases, it can be worth millions. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, always be on the lookout for minting errors and keep your coins in the best possible condition. You never know when you might come across a true treasure. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Who knows? Maybe the next coin we talk about could be the one hiding in your pocket right now. See you next time. Want more coin collecting tips? Check out these videos right here. And don't forget to drop a comment below if you think you have a rare coin. This script builds excitement around the 2016 D Mint Mark Quarter and its history, explaining why one specific coin became so valuable. It keeps the audience engaged with suspenseful storytelling, easy to follow steps on how to check their own coins and a breakdown of current market values. We're talking about is a rare piece of American history, the 1912 D Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. Whether you're a seasoned coin collector or just stumbled upon this fascinating world, this video is for you. So sit back and let's dive deep into the story of this remarkable coin, its history, why it's so valuable, and how its price skyrocketed to $1.4 million. Our story begins back in 1912, in the midst of the Edwardian era, when the U.S. Mint was producing coins that would one day become treasures for collectors around the world. The coin we're focusing on today is the 1912 D. Barber Quarter, which was minted in Denver, Colorado. That D you see on the lower reverse of the coin? That's the Denver Mint mark, and it's a key player in this coin's value. The U.S. Mint's Denver branch was still relatively new in 1912, having opened just a few years prior in 1906. The coins produced in Denver were generally struck in smaller numbers, and in some cases, they're much harder to find in pristine condition today, especially when it comes to the 1912 D quarter. Before we dive into the specifics of the 1912 D, 
Let's take a moment to understand the broader series it belongs to, the Barber Quarters. Named after their designer, Charles E. Barber, who was the chief engraver of the U.S. Mint at the time, these coins were struck between 1892 and 1916. The Barber design was used for dimes, quarters, and half dollars, and features the famous Liberty head on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse. The design was considered fairly plain and utilitarian for its time, especially compared to more intricate coins that followed. But what really makes certain barber quarters valuable today isn't just their design, it's their rarity. And that's where the 1912D stands out. Now, you might be wondering, why is the 1912D so special? Well, a combination of factors contribute to its extreme rarity and value. First off, the Denver Mint produced only 3.4 million of these quarters, a relatively low mintage compared to other years. But it's not just about the quantity, it's about the survival rate. Most coins from this era were heavily circulated. Back in the early 20th century, people didn't collect quarters like they do today. These coins were used daily for commerce and wore down quickly over time. Finding a 1912D in good condition today is incredibly difficult. That's where things get exciting for collectors. Now let's talk about that jaw-dropping price tag, $1.4 million. This 1912D Barber Quarter was sold for a record-breaking price in a 2019 auction, making headlines across the coin-collecting world. But why did it sell for so much? Show footage of the pristine 1912D coin sold at Optio. It wasn't just any 1912D quarter. This particular coin was graded MS68 by PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, making it the finest known example of its kind. A coin of that caliber is like finding a needle in a haystack. It's practically flawless, with sharp details, lustrous surfaces, and virtually no signs of wear. That's why this rare gem fetched an astonishing $1.4 million at auction. If you're new to coin collecting, you might be wondering, what's all this talk about grading and why does it matter? Coin grading is crucial when it comes to determining a coin's value. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect specimen, free from any imperfections. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin. In the case of the 1912D quarter, the coin that sold for $1.4 million was graded MS68, which is almost unheard of for a coin that old. Most 1912D quarters you'll come across are in much lower grades due to circulation wear, making this high-grade piece a true masterpiece. Of course, not every 1912D quarter is going to be worth millions. So, what's the current market value of this coin today? Well, it depends largely on the condition. Let's break it down. A well-worn 1912D Barber Quarter in good condition might fetch around $30 to $1.50 dot in very fine condition. You're looking at anywhere between $150 to $300. An extremely fine example could bring in $600 to $1,000. But if you have a Mint State 1912D, the value could jump to $10,000, $20,000, or even higher depending on the grade. And as we saw earlier, an exceptional MS68 example can be worth over $1.4 million. So, while most of these quarters won't make you a millionaire, the rarest, high-grade examples are among the most sought-after and expensive coins in U.S. numismatics today. So how can you tell if you've got a valuable 1912D quarter in your hands? First, check for the D-Mint mark, which is located on the reverse side just below the eagle. Then, examine the coin's condition closely. Are the details sharp? Is there minimal wear, especially on Liberty's head and the eagle's feathers? If so, you might have a more valuable piece. If you think you've got something special, Consider getting it professionally graded by a service like PCGS or NGC. They'll authenticate and grade your coin, which can make a huge difference in determining its true market value. The 1912D Barber Quarter is more than just a coin. 
It's a piece of American history, a testament to the artistry of early 20th century minting and a collector's dream. Whether you're fortunate enough to own one or simply fascinated by the incredible story behind it, this coin represents the magic and allure of numismatics. Who knows? You might even find one hiding in your collection. And remember, coins like this are not just about their monetary value. They're about preserving a moment in history. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the history and value of the 1912 D Barber Quarter, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications. Let us know in the comments if you have any rare coins or want us to cover other fascinating coin stories. Who knows, maybe you've got a hidden treasure waiting to be discovered. We're diving deep into a coin that's been turning heads in the collector's world, the 2012 D Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. Yes, you heard that right, a quarter dollar coin that could be worth up to $1.2 million. How could a common looking coin skyrocket in value? Let's find out. Let's start with a bit of history. The D on the 2012 quarter stands for the Denver Mint, where these coins were produced. Denver, along with the Philadelphia Mint, is one of the main mints in the United States, and the D Mint mark can be found on many circulating coins. But what makes the 2012 D Mint quarter so special? In 2012, the U.S. Mint continued its America, the Beautiful Quarters program, which began in 2010, featuring designs that highlight the natural beauty and historical significance of America's national parks and landmarks. The quarters from that year included designs such as El Yunk National Forest, Chaco Culture, Acadia National Park, and more. These coins were produced in millions, but a few have caught the attention of collectors for one crucial reason, their rarity in pristine condition and, as we'll see, errors. Now, rarity and condition are key factors that can turn an ordinary coin into a highly sought-after piece. Most 2012 D quarters in circulation are worth base value, just 25 cents. But a small percentage of them, due to minting errors or their exceptional preservation, have reached astronomical prices. Error coins are one of the reasons why certain 2012 D quarters can be worth so much. Some of these coins exhibit errors, like doubling, where part of the image or text appears twice due to a mistake during the minting process. Others have off-center strikes, where the image isn't aligned properly with the coin, or even die cracks, where the minting die has a visible crack, creating a unique mark on the coin. These errors make the coin more valuable because they are rare and considered anomalies in an otherwise standardized process. Another major factor in determining the value of a coin is its condition, or what collectors call grade. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect, untouched coin. These grades are given by professional coin grading services such as PeaceGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, and NGC, Numismatic Guarantee Corporation. For a 2012 D quarter to fetch a high price, it needs to be in what's called mint state, meaning it shows no signs of wear from circulation. A perfect mint state 70 coin is the holy grail for collectors, but even mint state coins in the high 60s can sell for impressive sums. These pristine quarters are often found in rolls of uncirculated coins or sets sold directly by the U.S. Mint. Now, on to the story that is everyone talking. A 2012 D Mint Mark quarter recently sold for a staggering $1.2 million. How did a coin, originally worth 25 cents, reached such an extraordinary price. This particular coin was graded as a perfect mint state 70 by PCGS and had a rare error that made it even more valuable. Only a handful of these coins exist in such perfect condition, and that combination of rarity, historical significance, and flawless preservation is what drove the price up to such an astronomical level. The coin seller was a savvy collector who had kept the quarter in pristine condition for years. When it finally went up for auction, 
Coin enthusiasts and collectors from around the world jumped at the chance to own this piece of modern numismatic history. So, what about the rest of the 2012 D quarters out there? Most quarters from this year in circulated condition are only worth their face value. But, if you happen to have a mint state coin or an error coin, you could be sitting on a much more valuable piece. On the current market, a regular 2012 D mint mark quarter in mint state 65 condition can sell for around $5 to $10. However, higher grade coins, especially those in mint state 68 and above, can fetch several hundred dollars depending on the buyer. Error coins, as we mentioned earlier, can also push values into the thousands. It's not impossible for a high grade coin to be found in circulation, but they are exceedingly rare. If you believe you have a special 2012 D quarter, your best bet is to have it professionally graded. Who knows? You could be holding the next million dollar coin. If you're intrigued and want to start checking your 2012 D quarters, here's what you should do. First, look for the D mint mark under the date on the coin. Then, Check the condition. Is it free from scratches and wear? If it looks pristine, you might want to get it graded. Also, inspect for any unusual errors like doubling or misstrikes. Even small variations can significantly increase a coin's value. Many collectors use online resources or visit local coin dealers to help identify valuable coins. If you think you've got a winner, Sending it to a grading service like PCGS or NGC is the best way to authenticate its value. From a mere 25 cents to over a million dollars, the story of the 2012 D Mint Mark Quarter shows just how thrilling the world of coin collecting can be. So next time you're rummaging through your change, take a closer look. You might be holding a treasure in your hands. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found this video helpful, or if you've ever stumbled upon a rare coin, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for more exciting coin collecting stories and tips. See you next time, and happy hunting!